Electronic age coming in. Yeah, there. well, we both have a bit of a soft spot for got, like soft house music and dance. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, we do. We kind of uh, bonded on that as well. So that's maybe we're a little bit of a dancey edge sometimes. We kind of jam out a lot of stuff. We try and record the practices as well. It's just kind of. Because normally when you practice, you play a load of stuff and then you don't really kind of want to forget about it instantly. But then when you listen back, you think, well, no, that's a good piece, we'll take that and put that with that piece and we'll play that like, three times and do that. Yeah. And then I think um, the way Annie does the lyrics is kind of thinking it sounds kind of complimentary and then Jen just kind of fill in the lyrics and kind of, so they're kind of not. I don't know, we don't necessarily start with the lyrics no. in mind, just kind of think of things just, and then... We very much feel our way, you know, um, just... Well, we have vague ideas, maybe we should try and something like this, or take this out, or, but um, we'll just j jam out for, for hours and then just go back and piece things together. Well, absolutely, always completely inspired by surrealism and... Um, Andre Breton's kind of like stream of consciousness, very just yeah. just into that concept, or maybe the, yeah. what's written in that way, yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah that's totally how I really hope or you know, work really hard to try and do without being too um, convoluted or self indulgent. <laughs> I love I love chatting to people. I really do, and I think if people are interested in what I do, I just think that's the nicest, most brilliantest thing. Yeah. You know, because I'm a total geek when I go to gigs. I want to know what they're all using and how do they do that. And what, you know, so uh, it's just wicked to be able to t talk to someone who's who's into it and wants to know. And yeah, love it. Yeah. Well, as far as we're concerned, Bristol is absolutely brilliant city to play in. It's so positive here. New stuff going on all the time. Uh, people are up for it, friendly. We've got you know, some really great core cool people that are just so supportive. It's a brilliant city. I think this year we really want to finish an album's worth of material, which we're recording right now. Um, which is going well. Uh, and I think once we've got that behind us, I think we're both really looking forward to moving artistically on from what we've been writing in the last couple of years. So we're really, really looking so forward to. There's a progression happening now. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Is it getting poppier or is it getting heavier? Or is it. How's, it, how's that oh. panning out? <laughs> You're not sure yet. Well, judging on the last few practices, I think it's it's getting more experimental. Okay. Interesting. We look forward to hearing that then. I like the dagger bones. Yeah. Dagger bones. Just good. Yeah, awesome. Got a 
good niche. Oh god, do you know what? I'm really stuck. I'm stuck between Joy of Sex, the Moles, and Langer. Well, you can have all three. Can know. I? Yeah, 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 yeah that's fine. Those, have all three of those. Yeah. So th those got you going then, did they? Um, Langer really got me going. Fair enough, Langer. Yeah, Langer. Awesome. That's a really great tune. Yeah, yeah, the brilliant band. Brilliant band. Eat sweets. Eat sweets. <laughs> sweets. And sweets. Remember to bring your kit. Yeah, yeah, remember to bring kit when you play gigs. Okay. <laughs> and not drum risers. More drum risers, surely. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Annie and Lee from the Stoke. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful.